Um, good evening, everyone. Pursuant to chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, um, this meeting is being conducted over remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so over Zoom. Um, and then we will also post a recording of this meeting to the town's YouTube um, channel. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted. Um, now I need to kind of go around and just sort of get a, a sound check from everybody to make sure that, that they can uh, hear me and be heard, hear us and be heard. So I'm just gonna start with um, Eleanor. Hello. <laughs> uh, Julianne? Yes. Leah? Hi. Rachel? Here. Robin? Yes. And Christy? Hello. Okay, thanks everybody. So, and and we usually have a much more relaxed conversational style, but just given the short period of time and we do have a little bit of urgency in terms of posting the guidelines for the September 1st, the, the grant will open September 1st on the MCC website. So I'm gonna go ahead and just share my screen um, and open up for a little bit of discussion. Uh-oh, um, I'm gonna try to share my screen <coughs> and open up for a little discussion about the grant guidelines. Um, so ho hopefully this works. Uh, allow Zoom to share your screen. System preferences. Okay, this is. Um, <laughs> Do you want me to uh, share uh, instead? If well, if you have them in front of you, that'd be great. I think I do. So, um, so I, I will say we 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 don't have to get the precise wording. I think if we can get the general gist, as as Julianne looks for the document. Um, I guess the one change that I would like to propose we make to last year's grant is we include some language around um, uh, regional collaborations. And I don't think we necessarily need to ask them to apply to a bunch of different councils, but just, just a, a general statement around, you know, we wanna prioritize regional collaboration. I think collaboration is probably a safe word to use. And then, you know, we can kind of treat each one individually because they're, they're gonna come in, 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 in individually. Um, oh, wonderful, thank you. Well, uh, the regional um, collaboration is just because it would benefit a broader community, right? So I think just a quick related question to that. So the applicants themselves don't have to be based in Amherst, correct? As correct. long as they're bringing benefit to the Amherst community. Correct. Okay, thank you. I, I thought it wasn't that we wanted to prior, bleh, prioritize um, applicants with regional events so much as that we also wanted them to secure funding, you know, if there's, if it's, if it's a regional, um, re regionally appealing thing that they would apply regionally, not just to us. Yeah, I, I think mean, we both decided as well. In other words, you know, we encourage you to also apply to other cultural councils in state, you know, cities or towns that have people who would benefit or something like that. Is, sorry, can I can I jump in? I'm sorry, I can't put my hand up because I'm really <laughs> far. I just jump um, in. No. So is there a way that we could put in the language just um, some suggestions of when we say regional collaboration or reason, regional participation, what we're talking about, because it like, like, and this is the, this is a question. Uh, are we, um, I mean, we want people who are, let's say Amherst based, but whose project benefits three other towns in the Valley to apply to other towns in the Valley. And do we also want people who are based in Amherst, but who's, um, what do I wanna say? The participants, the, the actors, I mean that in like a broad sense of the word, like the um, people who are involved in the activity, who are also coming from other regional towns to, all, to also apply. Do you see what I mean? I mean, people could take that in different ways and and i'm wondering what is it that we mean is it do we mean benefit do we mean who draw upon the talents of valley um artists and performers 
I don't know. I'm just wondering whether or not we want to give a, a, a few more suggestions so that people understand what we're talking about by the word regional and participation. Sure. So I, I drafted something here and let's let's see if this starts to move towards that, Christy. Okay. Uh, for okay. for okay. grants that have regional audiences and also benefit Amherst residents, we encourage you to apply to all LCCs with communities who will benefit from the event. That's one part, right? Right. What, what, what more would it need to kind of get to what you're? Um, no, I guess that's. I guess that's it. I guess so that's it. I actually want to. I want to see if we can broaden it a little bit more. Um, mm -hmm. Just because what I'd like, what I'd like this to be able to do is to help us, um, to give us grounds to give additional points or, or money or favor to folks whose work. So it's, it's less about what they do and more about our, our priority, you know, that, that, you know, yes, we wanna, we wanna benefit Amherst directly, but we, would, we will reward um, folks whose applications, you know, have a, have a, regional, a regional flavor. Mm -hmm. and in some cases that's applying to multiple councils, but in other cases, I think we certainly, when we read a grant and the person okay. says, I'm working with the schools all across the valley to to make you know to put on this performance. Right. We celebrate that as well. So um, I I think as as long as we're we're close in the language, I think we're you know yeah. You, you know yes. what, what we don't have. I'm sorry, this is slightly moving on from this, but what we don't have is that um, right now we have no way to evaluate the benefit of different types of events, like Correct. how many brass bands, things like that. Um, right. So, so yeah, so, so that, 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 that's a big one, I think that came up last year. Yep. And so also, go ahead, Leah. Oh, wait, I was gonna quickly say, has our um, stance on, is our, are we keeping the same thing about having a date as we did last year, are we making it a little bit more strict this year? So it's we actually did anyway, we, right? Yeah, we did say they had to have a date last year. We just okay. we were more I flexible. I still think that's a good idea. We it's, just it's got some people who okay, got it. It's in there. Sorry. Yep. Um, so I want to I want to follow up on what Julianne just brought up and see if folks have other thoughts about that because that is I agree that's something that we yeah. want to have in here, but I'm not sure exactly how to phrase it. So. I'm working on it, but I'm not saying I'm, I'll get it right. Yeah, I, I just I warn us that you know if if we are saying we want a diversity of different kinds of you know cultural things, um, and we have four brass bands, you know, and we award to one of them but not the other three because of this this need to vary. I, it makes me a little you know it, that this is something that I think we need to kind of think through a little bit more. Well, I think it happened last year where not that we didn't give money to one but I think it was like with choruses there was we had like conversations about like how much like what percentage of the total money is being given so I think it kind of worked down to like we just did more partial grants for all of those which is like I mean it's kind of a dilemma like do you fully fund one or partially fund a bunch or like because like if the amount of grants is overwhelmingly like brass bands it's hard right that's that's a good point the partial funding is a good that's a very good point yeah although you do end up watering things down also i think it's a slightly different issue and we've talked about both of these the encouraging grant, you know, applicants to also apply to other local cultural councils is because those communities are also benefiting, but we're kind of paying the entire amount of what they need. And therefore we have less money to give to other grantees. So, um, to me, that was sort of like, why are we paying the whole thing? You know, 
or why do people think that Amherst should cover the entire grant and that, you know, we have limited money to give and limited amounts we can give to each grantee. So that goes to the for grants that have regional audiences also benefit Amherst residents. We encourage you to apply to all LCCs with communities who will benefit from the event. Thank well, they all have to benefit Amherst residents. Ah, regardless. And also benefit Amherst residents. It ha that's in there. And then the above says uh, they'll be evaluated on um, on the benefit they bring to the Amherst community. Please, you know. I, I think so, here. Does anyone agree that we we should add something like? Be specific. <laughs> there, also there is, yeah, I, I want to. Um, I'm going to pause us now in the interest of time. So I, I, I want to just have a general conversation for a minute. Like, there's two, there's two additions, right? The additions are um, prioritizing and and encouraging regional collaborations, um, and also uh, a, a diversity of different kinds of cultural events. Um, and then there are there's other wordsmithing that has to be done, like the opening. There's there's a bunch of stuff that needs to be wordsmithed a little bit, and we're not going to be able to do it now. Um, but I I would like us to just go ahead and take a vote on on making those two changes, understanding that we're voting on just on the broad outlines of those changes, um, because I, I think with the interest of time, we're not going to be able to meet again before September first. Sorry, that's a little distracting. Um, <laughs> uh, do you mind? Um, so, so I, I could we could we just take a vote on on those two additions to the grant guidelines, and then when Rachel signs off, we at least have accomplished the most important thing. Got, can I can I just I added specifically here? Then there every yeah. highlighted. Um, I think I agree with what is there, and also I just wanted to kind of circle back a little bit to what Christy raised earlier: the question of in addition to the people being benefited, we're also talking about collaboration, right? Which Matt mentioned. So I think that language is not here yet. I mean, it was it was suggested earlier with the red bullet point, but do you see what I mean? There's like the, there's the benefit, the people benefiting benefited, and then there's the people who are actually um, taking part in the project, which- And those presumably... are two different things. And those exactly. are- Exactly. Right. They're two and different- so Right, and, and I think- I would, And I, I would support that. Sorry. Yeah, you yeah. say something so, like well, collaborative, um, collaborative yeah, events. Because it's kind of like the people doing the project should also be collaborating with different, with people from different communities in order to put on said project. Right. right. So I think those those are two, like, you know, Christy just pointed out. How about <laughs> events that bring um, collaborative, um, uh, I'm 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 feeling the clock ticking. So Intercommunity collaboration or something, you know, just people mm. basically, yeah. That's that's just a placeholder. <laughs> and receive something. So is it? Be... Agent, we're encouraging or we're, we're not giving brownie points, being extra credit to projects which have regional collaboration and benefit. Mm -hmm. Correct. Isn't that it? I think that's nice. Yeah, I like yep. that. I'm sorry, say that again? Yeah. Region, regional collab, collaborative benefit? Re Regional collaboration, collaboration and, benefit. and benefit. Yeah, I don't think you can combine those into one phrase. I think it has to be regional collaboration and benefit. Mm -hmm. Okay, I so like that. Events that, I like bring. that. They're really two different ideas. Yes. Regional collaboration and benefit will be what? Hey, hey Julie. Be, um, uh, okay, Whatever word, whatever word it is, will be will be um, uh, recognized or um, what's the word that we want? Will be um, will be. Um, are we prioritizing? Say, them or are are, in, are encouraged? Encouraged. Yeah, I, yeah, I would. I would encourage it because it seems like 
we have so many priorities like diversity and I mean one more priority and then we have no priorities because they're all priorities I mean so so we encourage regional collaboration and um and benefit. encourage events that or bring something like that we okay I think we I think you got it there Christy we and uh, encourage events that bring regional collaboration and benefit yeah I mean we can tweak the you know but that just that the sentiment of it what ideas. Matt wants to vote yeah. on here can I make the motion to vote on that or somebody please, else Rachel things have to do that yeah, no please do motion. I'll make the motion I will second I I, I support that sorry I'm waving from <laughs> Only if you can second safely from your car, Chrissy. You can I know, car. like I'm, I'm yeah. waving in front of Target. So um. that's fabulous. I think as okay. again, this is like the fastest guideline update we've oh. ever done. But you know, I, I think those were the main things that came up last year. Yeah. Oh, so I, we need to take an official vote. Yeah, we have a motion on the table. Um, let's stop the screen share for a moment, if you don't mind. And um, and then we'll just do a quick roll call. I, I'm an I, um, Julianne. I. Robin. I. And then Rachel moved I. and seconded. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean to rush things along. I just wanted to honor um, yeah. Rachel's and, time. And, and Rachel, thank I don't you know. Rachel, you, for the extra time. We, we did have all. those. We did have those two grantees who who came in with questions. Um, one of them, well, I don't know, Rachel. If you have five minutes to talk about them, we can. But if you if you have to hop off, we understand that too. Um, yeah, so I can. I'll just stay for a few minutes. I'll be late for my other. Thing. All right, I, and I really apologize for that. I mean, it's just. Oh no, you know. no, it's not your fault. Um, so, so I sent out uh, the two. Ezel's um, is a pretty straightforward. Just a request for a time extension. If anybody wants to move to approve that and. Uh, I'll make well, a movement to approve that. Okay, I'll, I'll second that. Um, uh, and then we'll just do a quick roll call. Christy, Rachel. Aye. And Robin. Yes. Thank you. And Leah, do you support? I support. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Leah, I didn't ask if you supported the guidelines earlier. Do you support the guidelines? Oh, yeah. I also have, with the, um, the regional grantees, I have a question for everyone, but also for Robin, because I know she does treasury stuff. When we're looking at the, um, when we're looking at like the budget breakdown and Leah, are I'm we going to be looking- for a second. Can, can, oh, we, can we punt on that question until after our quorum breaks up just so we can have Rachel- yeah. Oh, oh wait, sorry, I forgot, yeah. We can, we can you know, yeah, we'll, we can we'll close stay, the meeting, yeah. but we can have an informal okay. discussion about stuff. I, I, and I don't mean to, I'm sorry to cut you off. So no, we're, gonna, we're gonna go ahead um, and, and move to uh, approve Ezel's requ uh, request for an yes. extension. The, the one that's a little bit more nuanced, but I really, I wanna be able to get her an answer because it's been a, it's been a long journey for these, these folks um, and uh, um, is, is Pam Tillis. And essentially what happened with Pam Tillis is that she and her co-applicant um, worked tirelessly to put together a really impressive, I, I mean, I, I watched a lot of the, the stuff they put out there, a really impressive celebration of her father who passed away. Um, and as she was finalizing the, the project, her co-applicant also died suddenly of, um, of a fast moving, you know, it was a really tragic event. And so Pam really persevered and, you know, not only finished this thing, in, in the honor of her father, but also in honor of her co-applicant. Um, and, and so she had, uh, she had a professional editor. So most of her funds went to the professional editor, which we approved back in the fall. Um, the professional editor did not take up all of the funds that were approved. And so, you know, Pam has really taken on all of this work onto herself. And so her amendment request is actually to um, pay herself pay herself and also to pay her co-grantee, which she would then um, contribute that money to, I believe is a charity of, of her choice. But I, so it's a very, you know, it's a very 
moving story and a very powerful kind of moment. And she has been really wonderful in communicating and moving this forward. And so I, I think Julianne would agree. We, we want, we'd like to get her an answer, you know, if we can yes. this week, just because it's, it's a pretty compelling case. And uh, I sent you some of the emails that she had sent us, but I, um, I don't know. So do and it's an amazing piece of work as far as the quality of work. And yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. And the YouTube is up. The, the recording is up on our Facebook page and elsewhere, and it really is a beautiful performance. So um, I'm not even sure she needed to ask us because she could have just paid them and then donated it. But regardless, she's been very meticulous in reporting everything. And um, I certainly am fine. I think it's great. Is that you motioning? Uh, that's my, um, I agree with it. I'm not quite sure where we are in voting for this. So, but I don't know if we proposed, made the proposal or not. Yeah, she made a, she made a proposal to pay herself and her co-applicant $500 yes. each of the remaining funds. And then, you know, what she does with those monies in terms of donating them, that's up to her. But I think, I think there is a substantive change from paying the editor for professional wow. services. You know what I mean? So that's that's why I think we wanted to vote. Okay. So Christy, to speak. To... what were you gonna say, Christy? Um, so sorry, I feel like I'm I'm gonna say the thing that is not the thing to say, but I will say it. Um I it seems the project is wonderful. Um the product is wonderful. I really worry about this as a precedent. Oh, you froze up right mid sentence. Yeah. My concern. So, Christy, you're freezing. Tell me you're why freezing. they're not a concern. Um, I don't worry. So, oh. Sorry, can you? I know. Hold on. We can't yeah, hear you at I'm all. Gonna okay. That's better. Um, okay. I'm actually, can you hear me now? Perfectly. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to pull into Wildwood Cemetery so I can talk. Um, I was almost home. I, was almost, I almost made it. Sorry. Okay. Here's, sorry. Tell me, cry out if you can't hear me. So I'm, I'm worried about the precedent, not, not this individual case, but that's not what we're doing is judging. I mean, we have to worry about setting precedents for future projects and future decisions. Um, I worry less about giving the money. Um, uh, sorry, I just forgot her first name. Pam. Pam. Pam, Pam Tillis. Um, I I do not like the idea of giving money or funds to someone who is deceased with the idea that those funds be given to a charity that really now we've lost control of where that money is going to. What I would propose is we give, if we're talking about $500 each, that we give the $1,000 um, to Pam and she can then do with it what she likes. But I don't, it makes me a little nervous that we're now basically donating to, and, and she's being very upfront about it. We're donating to a charity. Like, what is that charity? And is that really the remit of our committee that we're donating to charity? So I just think to keep it cleaner, say, here's $1,000. Thank you for the work. We're terribly sorry about your co-applicant. Do with the money. You know, this is your stipend or etc. But I, I just think we should not get into donating. Like, what are we donating to? Yeah. And yeah. that makes me a little nervous. So I, I could that, motion that would be my specifically to say to do what what Christy just said. Can I make that motion? One thousand dollars to Pam, and then she can can donate to charity as she sees fit. As she sees fit, but then we're out of it. Like we're not a, we're not also getting into. Who seconded that? 
Yeah. Rachel. Thank, thank you, you, Rachel. Good point. Yeah. Uh, let's do a thank quick you, call. Thank you, Christy. Yeah, thank you, Christy. Um, Leah, do you support? I support. Okay. Um, uh, Christy, do you support? Or, yes, yes. <laughs> sorry. Uh, Robin? Yes. And and Eleanor, I should be asking you, frankly, if you support, just for I the support. sake of collaboration. Okay, great. We had we had a number of non-voting um, student members, and that's kind of how we made sure their voices were heard. Um, so good. okay, so it's it's you and I and I uh, I'm a yes as well. I think that's a really good insight, Christy, Excellent. and I appreciate Thank you. you making yeah. that. Um, Thank so, you, everyone. I'm gonna run. Okay. That's the thing. Extra. Thank you. See you next time. Okay. So having having lost our quorum, I think we're going to adjourn the um, public. I will meeting. stop recording. <laughs>